So it's a beautiful day here in St. Augustine, although I think I'm actually on Anastasia Island and there's a mini golf, see? Anyway, I wanna be serious about what's going on in our country and the rest of the world. Um, you'd have to be in a coma to not realize strange stuff is going on. I mean, we had the COVID and that kind of sparked a lot of us Christians to wake up. But I'll never go back to sleep again, I'm telling you right now. I've studied Bible prophecy since I got saved over 30 years ago. And as much as I studied it, believed it, it never really hit home until these last couple years. I'm telling you, we, we're in the last of the last days. There's so many Christians saying it. I, I don't see how it could be any other way when we see what's going on. The CBDC, and thank God we moved to Florida because that governor is doing all he can to keep it out of our state. I mean, I think even Texas, Texas is, <laughs> I don't know. It was always Texas or Florida. That's where everybody was going to move to. I'm telling you, though, there's only one way up, and that's Jesus Christ. If you don't, if you're not saved, if you've never trusted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you better do it now. John 3, 16, that's the most basic Bible verse to point you to. Um, you know, when, when Paul was in jail and the big earthquake hit in the book of Acts, and the jailer was terrified he was going to, be in trouble because Paul and them, you know, they were no longer in the chains in the jail. But nevertheless, he said, sirs, what must I do to be saved? And what did they say? Did they say, oh, you better go join the Catholic church. Go join the Mormon church. Join this church. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. When he asked them, he was desperately wanting to know, sirs, what must I know? Or what must I do to be saved? What did they tell him? Believe on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. So I'm going to point you to amazing ministries, one in particular in St. Augustine, Florida. Now the end begins, Jeffrey Grider. He came out of Catholicism just like I did. He's from New Jersey. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. He went to an all boys Catholic school. I went to an all girls uh, Catholic school. We were both lied to. We know what the truth is and it's not in the Bible. They never tell, tell you the truth. So definitely now the end begins. Uh, Google Tony Su, that's S-U. He's awesome. He's an awesome Christian who will uh, bring you up to speed what's going on. Watchwoman 65, Watchman on the Wall 88, Robert Breaker, Peter Ruckman. I got saved on Peter Ruckman, and he definitely knows his stuff. Chuck Missler, uh, he went to the Naval Academy, so I got I got some heart for the Navy since we're a Navy family. Amazing engineer. He devoted his years. He went home to be with the Lord. A lot of them are going home to be with the Lord, and it's like my goodness, I couldn't imagine what they would think if they were here right now going on since COVID. Anyway, there's so many really good ministries. Find yourself a good Bible-believing church. Um, we always stick to independent, fundamental, King James-only Baptist church because you're going to get the truth there. But even then, make sure they believe in a preacher of rapture. Uh, we're in the last of the last days, guys. No doubt about it. <laughs> Again, you'd have to be in a coma. You'd have to be spiritually blind, especially if you're a Christian, not to see what's going on all around us. Look at that beauty. And that's just a miniature golf. Yes, Florida is amazingly beautiful, but heaven is so much more. I has not seen. That's Bible. Anyway, um, if you haven't trusted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, do it now. Make sure your loved ones, your neighbors, everybody you know, tell them the truth that Jesus is the only way to heaven. Faith in Jesus Christ alone. That's it. That's all. Believe in Jesus Christ. He did it all. There's nothing we can do. Um, nothing we can do to get saved, stay saved. So again, look at those amazing ministries. I would start with Now the End Begins because you can even find them at sermonaudio.com. All the messages, God is really, really, really using Jeffrey Grider in these last moments. Get out there, start studying the Bible and get saved. New World Order, One World Government, Currency, one world. Currency, chip in the hand. Well, it's probably a chip. Uh, Mark of the Beast, Revelation 13. In the right hand or in the forehead, you don't want to be left behind for what's coming down here. 
and you don't even have any assurance you could take your ne next breath and not be saved to go to hell. So don't believe what the Pope says. The Pope's saying now, there is no hell. Well, Jesus warned about hell more than he talked about heaven. The Bible's true. Stick to a King James Bible, though. The rest of these translations, they... We're in the last days. Deception, deception, deception. Get saved now.